I think like like any male friendship in fiction and in real life, there is there's always one person that has to be is the fireworks and the predominant, like um, Batman or uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes, and then you've got to have the, the the sidekick doctor. You've got to have the Doctor Watson quieter Robin character to s support the other person's. It's like being a straight man in a comedy act. And so that is my job, to be pretty po-faced and um, trying to pick up the mess that Dom smithereens in all directions, which he does at all times. But that's, that's what makes being with him exciting, frustrating, infuriating, and an absolute adrenaline rush. So the combination of that is um, irresistible to somebody who is much more low-key. So, when you think of it in old music terms, uh, I'm like the drummer in the Stones to his Mick Jagger. You can't play Dom Hemingway in any half measure. Um, and he goes at it absolutely full throttle on every take, um, in every, with every variation going. So he's so extreme that you, ca you, know, you can't help but root for him because you know that there's a sort of, he's passed his sell by date as a character and uh, almost every decision he makes ends up being some kind of catastrophe for, catastrophe for him. But um, he's, you know, he's got that classic sort of British underdog thing of you root for him because he is a loser. He's an ex-con and somebody that I've been friends with for oh, 20 years and we've been partners in crime, I being older, former drug addicted mentor and he is a motor mouth who is uncontainable and provides my character with the kind of release and I suppose <laughs> a really low sleaze version of Robin to his Batman. Laurel to his Hardy, so it's a sort of double act like that.